So VM Underground, um, how it started was essentially came down to Theron Connery one year, went back before Twitter on the VMware community, said, hey guys, I'm coming in the day before VMware, before VMworld, let's get together and get to know each other, because we all know each other on this forum, but we've never seen each other in person. So they did that, and a couple of years go by, and it starts to get bigger and bigger, and at some point it got to the point where it had to have sponsors and he needed help, and that's when Sean Clark got involved. And a couple of years go by again, and they need more help, and you know, we're, at the time, Sean and Theron both lived in Des Moines, Iowa, and I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and spent a lot of time in Des Moines for my day job, and we got together, and they said, hey, you want to help us out, and I started helping out, and now we're at the point where we got 700 people coming in. So it's, it's been an interesting ride, and it's a fun ride, and people appreciate it, so we're happy to do it. So VM Underground and going into the future, um, you know, we've, we've made a point the last couple of years of making it bigger each time. Um, going forward, I don't know what we'll do next year yet. We, we haven't really sat down to talk too much about it. Um, you know, it's only four days past, three days past, who knows. It's a VMworld effect. Um, it's hard to say at this point. Um, we really like Jillian's. It worked out as a great venue, and everybody's given us really good feedback on that. Um, the cost of getting more space at Jillian's is, is pretty expensive, um, and that we have to be conscious of that because we like our sponsors. We don't want to have 50 sponsors for the thing. We like to keep the sponsorship small and make it affordable for them so they get a lot of value out of it. Um, so I know it, it'll probably be at least 700 people again next year. Um, whether we'll go bigger than that is to be determined, I guess. So right now we're looking at uh, doing a follow-up to the View 5 administration course. Um, the View 5 administration course was really designed just for, you know, how do you get the thing up and running? Let's, let's get you to a workable environment that you can use. We left a lot of stuff to the side, the more advanced type stuff. Um, so, you know, it's, there's definitely a desire to finish that off. Um, it, it felt like a two, two, two video series from the beginning. Um, we actually did drop some stuff from the View 4 course that we didn't update for the View 5 course, so that's, there's, there's a gap there already. Um, and of course, now we're looking at uh, at least one revision of View before, since the View 5, because the View 5 was all based on 5.0, 5.1 out. Um, so, you know, the, the goal is to get started on it here hopefully soon and get it, get it out probably before the end of the year, I hope. Um, life has been extremely busy and that makes it hard to spend a lot of time recording videos, but um, with VMworld over and VM Underground over for the year, it's a little bit more free time than there has been the rest of the year. So other things that are going on in my life right now, um, one of the things that's, that's been spending a lot of time on that has made it difficult to do more videos with TrainSignal. Um, my company, I work for a bar, um, so we do um, services and sell hardware and stuff like that. Um, we've recently completed the project for building our own public cloud um, that's going to be offered as, as part of my company and part of the company that we're actually owned by. Um, it's, it's all vCloud director based, it's, um, it's, all, uh, it's actually between three different data centers in three different cities. So it's, it's a pretty robust, it's a very robust solution. Um, we've got um, customers already onboarding on it and you know, the first of the three have only been in production for about a month now. Um, so there's a lot, of, a lot of good interest there, a lot of good customers and it's been a lot of work. And it's was, uh, you know, my primary day job is supposed to be a pre-sales role and this has been all mostly post-sales. So it's kind of like holding down two jobs lately on top of VM Underground planning and having a family. Um, our company has been on a fast growth path. Um, we actually got bought by the company that we were working with to build the cloud with halfway through the project of building the cloud. So the funny story with that is they announced it on a Monday and that following Tuesday I had to go be on site with them to work on designing the cloud. And we were on a phone call with my entire team talking about the acquisition and I said, so my question to my boss was, do I greet them as coworkers or as customers? Because I don't know 
where we stand right now on that one. And it's, it, it's, it's been an interesting project. It's been a lot of fun, and it's a great company that we got bought by. And I think the culture will say the same, and we'll just grow even faster than what we have in the last couple of years. So what am I most, in, most interested for, for product announcements? Um, um, picking just one. Um, I like the focus. I mean, I have obviously have a, a strong history with the VDI space. Um, you know, they're constantly talking about Horizon and Octopus and AppBlast the last couple, three years. And to see that still, still coming forward is, is both, both exciting and frustrating um, from the fact that it's taken, you know, they, they're showing it and it's something that my customers are constantly asking about when is Octopus going to be available? We could really use something like this. Um, you know, we, we want to do virtual desktops, we want to use Vue, but the application delivery isn't, could, could be better. It's not that it's bad or that's difficult, it's just, you know, Horizon, it's so much more attractive way to do it. They want to get it sooner than later, and VMware keeps, keeps promoting it, and it, everybody agrees that that's the right direction and they're on the right course, but it's not here yet, and that is a source of frust happy frustration, I guess. It's not all bad, but it's, it's exciting. So that's not necessarily something that was announced or delivered at this point, but to, to see that they're tying Octopus in there real tight, and you know, the AppLast stuff will be in there real tight to, to make a full robust package along with the, with the Vue solution is, is an exciting thing for me to see finally come, come into the light. What is my favorite worst piece of technology? Wow. Um, I am not a big fan of SharePoint. Um, it's hard to pick a product and not and know that you're not gonna or know that you are gonna annoy somebody at some level. But um, SharePoint's one of those technologies. I grew up as a web developer, so SharePoint has always kind of been a um, an interesting one for me to look at as an infrastructure guy because I see it out there and I, I see the value in it absolutely and I think it's 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 got a huge case and you know we run projects based on SharePoint sites but I just it never feels quite smooth enough and and smart enough the way that I would think it should um, and I know in a lot of cases it's poorly implemented and it gives it a bad name and that's true with any technology if it's poorly implemented VDI is a huge huge example of that. If you don't do it right the first time, it gets a bad name and then you never do it because, oh, this thing doesn't work. Well, it works for a lot of people and you're not really that big of an exception. You just didn't, or whoever did it for you just didn't do it right. So I, that's probably part of my, my disgust with, with SharePoint, but um, I think that there, there needs to be some competition in that space and there needs to be somebody that can come up with a, and, and VMware may have it with SocialCast and the ability to, to create those community type sites and be able to, to maybe push Microsoft a little bit to start innovating around SharePoint again and, and get some better collaboration on the website. Um, travel has been not too bad. Um, you know, it's mostly conferences and, um, you know, HP's had me out to a couple of their tech days. Um, which are fascinating, and if anybody ever has the opportunity to go to them, I would recommend going to them because they're, they're 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 media junkets for all intents and purposes. So they're to get you know their message out on people's blogs and get people talking about them on Twitter and stuff like that. And it, it's a good way for from a social media perspective to to get your information out there. And Stephen Foskett's uh, Tech Field days have have definitely blazed the trail there. Um, you know, for business, there's there's occasional trips. Um, they come and go. They they come in waves sometimes. I mean, working on this this big cloud project has been a lot of travel. I was associated with that. Um, they're to Des Moines and back for the most part, so they're not terribly exciting. But I know a lot of people in Des Moines, so it's an opportunity to to greet people. Just just like VMworld is the once a year family reunion for all of us and. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to be away from the family for a full seven days at a conference like this. And sometimes I get some, some heartache around, well, you go have fun tonight while I sit at home. And it's all in good fun because she knows that it's important to me and that uh, I get a lot out of it. And I get exhausted the weekend when I go home. And 
we try and do stuff, but sometimes I just can't leave the couch.